We are here for a workshop on um, what is wrong with the criminalization of homelessness. Everything. And why. <laughs> what's, right, what's right with it? <laughs> Nothing. And why should we have the first homeless bill of rights in the country in California that makes it impossible for cities to criminalize homeless people yeah. for silly shit like lying and sitting on the sidewalk. You know, stuff like that. Right. Why but, haven't we had it? I mean, what's taking it so long? What's taking it so long? You got an answer to that? What do you think? No, I don't. But, I mean, really, the reality is homeless people should always have had rights. And they do have rights. I mean, I do not believe that homeless people don't have rights. They do have rights. It's a matter of people waking up and realizing that. And for the system to start criminalizing the people who are criminalizing the homeless because they're the criminals it's the people who are who are hassling the homeless people sleeping on benches it's the people who are you know uh, trying to pass laws against sitting and lying on a sidewalk they're the criminals well, um, now can you explain this to folks why do you say they are the criminals for anybody out there who can't make that flip inside their head okay. and understand this, why are the police the criminals for cr for attacking, harassing, and criminalizing because homeless Because the people? sidewalks belong to the people. They're public property. And public means all of us. It doesn't mean people who are housed or people who don't appear to be homeless, which is the way that people these days interpret it, that only they, the people who are housed, have a right to the sidewalks, to public benches, to public parks, you know, whatever. No, sorry, no, you've got it all turned around. Public means public, it means everybody. So therefore, the people who are restricting public space from members of the public, I feel, are committing a crime. They're the ones that are committing the crime. Not the people who are sitting or lying on a sidewalk. If I'm sitting or lying on a sidewalk, I'm just using that public space the way I want to use it. And I'm using. Why should I be criminalized for that? And I'm using that public space because there isn't enough affordable housing and low-income housing in San Francisco. There should be more. And these people are being criminalized because they can't pay the astronomical rents in yep. any city in the country, but worse in San Francisco. Right. But but also, what if I what if I do have a house? What if I live in a house, but I decide I'm going to sit down on the sidewalk and eat my lunch, or I'm going to take a nap on the sidewalk? Why can't I? Well, then the police are not. Not gonna come after well, you. if they think I, if I look like I'm housed, right. but if I look, don't look like I'm housed, then yes, the police are gonna hassle me. But if I look like I'm housed, then chances are the police may not, may not hassle me. Oh, I can guarantee you, if you're a tourist and you're spending money in the city and you get an ice cream cone, sit down on the sidewalk with your aging wife and eat the ice cream cone, and you look like you're spending money in the city, they're not going to no, bother you. No, of course you. they're not going to. Yeah. Yeah, are they okay. leaving because they're going to the Yeah, they are. Yes, thank you, Tommy. You're uh, always good. Thank you. <laughs>